So let's say that we finished our rolls off. Uh, we've shot all the, the pictures on the roll. Um, now we need to develop the film. So depending on if you're using an older or a newer camera, there's a different way to get the film canister out to make sure that your film is rewound. So for a modern camera, um, it should rewind itself. Or if you need to do it prematurely, you'll see a symbol that looks like film being rewound. And that's the button that you need to press. And sometimes you have to press two buttons at once to make it rewind the film. But once you have a symbol like that, you know that you're ready to open up that canister or the back of the camera and the film has been rewound completely. So that's all good to go. It's light tight and I can move forward with the process. So I'll set the camera off to the side here and move on to the old camera. Let's get that film out. So in older cameras, there's gonna be a, a manual part to it where you need to rewind the film completely yourself. So down on the bottom of the camera, there's a button that you press and that releases this side here so that it can rewind freely. freely. So then I'm gonna take this little lever out again that I used to uh, start with, and the way that the arrow is going, that's the way that I turn this, and it's gonna wind the film all the way back up into the canister. And you wanna keep doing this until you're certain that it's all wound in. You'll feel some tension at first, and then the moment you feel like the tension is gone, you know that it's fully rewound. Then you can open up the canister here, or the back of the camera, and pull out your canister, just like that. So if you were doing this at home and you needed to load in another roll, you follow that same process to get your next roll in place to shoot it. All right, so next, we're gonna get this film ready to go to put into a developing tank. The developing tank looks like this. We've got uh, a top part, we've got a center post, and we've got the bottom piece. The post goes into the bottom. This top is gonna be screwed on on top after we get our film into these film reels. And um, that's gonna be what we'll use to develop the film. This is gonna be light tight when we get these in place. Uh, but you actually have to do this in pure darkness. So when we take the film out of here, it can't be in the light it'll ruin the pictures. So I've got these black bags that we can put everything in and then we'll uh, do the whole process within that. But since you won't be able to see what I'm doing if I'm doing it that way, I'm just gonna um, do this up front here in the light. So to start with, we gotta make sure that our film reels are uh, put together here to be able to put our film into. So um, they come apart and that's pretty nice when you're finishing off your developing. But um, to be all set to go here, we gotta make sure that they're locked in place like this, where we have uh, a little bit of turning that can go on. If you lock it in a different way, no, this is not gonna work for us. We have to have these two sides line up like this. So that way we can use this to advance the film and get it all wound in place. So in the dark, or within that bag, you're going to um, take the film and just use your fingernail to pry off one of the ends. With one of the sides off, you can just pull this out completely. We you reuse these um, and we wind new film onto them, so don't throw them away. Let the film come off. We're going to do a cut so that way the film is straight right here. This is all parts of the film that had already been uh, totally exposed to light, so it doesn't matter if we cut into them. On the tail end of the film, we'll do the same thing. That was another section that when we wound the film in place, was exposed to light. This piece here you can take off, and this is something that we reuse. These two pieces we're just going to trash. All right. Next, we got our film off of the little centerpiece. We're going to take that film and we're going to insert it onto the larger side of the film reel. There's two little ball bearings in here that'll catch the film if we push the film through this side and then it will allow us to wind the film on. So I'll take the, uh, the film and I'll put it through until it's through that section where the little uh, ball bearings are. Sometimes you have to pull it just a little ways. There we go. So now I'm going to wind the film on just like this. If it catches, 
That could mean that you've got an obstruction within the film reel, but it looks like I'm okay. Sometimes you just have to kind of move this back and forth just a little bit until it starts to move freely. Um, the other thing that can cause it to catch is if you've got a, not a clean cut. So if you haven't cut straight across the edge um, on that front end that you're gonna be winding through first, that can be something that causes this to catch. You can see that it's advancing the film, rolling it on. It's important that the film doesn't touch itself as it goes through the developing process. So this allows it to get in place within here and then the chemicals can flow freely on both sides of the film. So again, this is all in the dark, but you then take that film and you push it down to the very bottom of the post. It can hold two canisters or yeah, two film reels here, but you need to make sure that the film is the exact same ISO because they develop at different times. So the hundreds need to go with the hundreds. If you do a hundred and then a 400, uh, your developing time will be off and you'll have a, a tough time getting the exposure to be right on the film. Because you're exposing the film when you take a picture, but then you're developing it to the correct darkness using the chemicals for a certain amount of time. So I'm just going to do another roll here and get it in place, but it's going to be uh, something I'll just fast forward and you can see at uh, a faster pace in the video. After you've got both of your rolls in there, this is going to be what will make it light tight. Now, you don't need to screw this on so tight that it's going to be hard for you to open again. You just want to get it so that it starts to catch. Now what we'll be able to do is go through the developing process by pouring the chemicals in and um, developing it and pouring the chemicals out. So that's how you get your film out of the camera and into the developing tank.